The Emperor does not share your optimistic appraisal of the situation. But he asked the impossible. I need more men. Then perhaps you can tell him when he arrives. The Emperor's coming here? That is correct, Commander. And he is most displeased with your apparent lack of progress. We shall double our efforts. I hope so, Commander, for your sake. The Emperor is not as forgiving as I am. Greetings, Exalted One. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight and friend to Captain Solo. I know that you are powerful, mighty Jabba, and that your anger with Solo must be equally powerful. I seek an audience with your greatness to bargain for Solo's life. <laughs> with your wisdom, I'm sure that we can work out an arrangement which will be mutually beneficial and enable us to avoid any unpleasant confrontation. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you a gift. These two droids. What did he say? Both are hardworking and will serve you well. This can't be. Artu, you're playing the wrong message. <laughs> Master Harkin is a knight. He's no Jedi. We're doomed. Frozen in carbonite. <laughs> Death Star plans are not in the main computer. Where are those transmissions you intercepted? What have you done with those plans? We intercepted those transmissions. Uh, uh, this is a consular ship. We're on a diplomatic mission. If this is a consular ship, where is the ambassador? <laughs> Commander, tear this ship apart until you found those plans and bring me the passengers. I want them alive! Guard, that door secure? Yes, sir. Nothing should be done. Good. Uh, open it. It's not working, sir. It seems to be stuck. seem to be gorged. Gorged? On my grain? Kirk, I am going to hold you responsible. There must be thousands of them. Hundreds of thousands. One million seven hundred seventy-one thousand five hundred sixty-one. That's assuming one triple, multiplying with an average litter of ten, producing a new generation every twelve hours over a period of three days. And yeah, that's assuming that they got here three days ago and allowing for the amount of grain consumed and the volume of the storage compartment. Kirk, you should have known. You are responsible for turning the development project into a total disaster. Mr. Barris. And I am through being intimidated, Kirk. You have insulted me. You have ignored me. You, you've walked all over me. You have abused your authority and you have rejected my requests. Then this, this is a result. Uh -huh. I am going to hold you responsible, Mr. Kirk. Mr. Barris, I'll hold you in arms if you don't shut up. Jim, I think I've got it. All we have to do is quit feeding them. We quit feeding them, they stop breeding. Now he tells me. Yep. This Tribble is dead. And so are these. A lot of them are dead. A lot of 
lot of them are alive. But they won't be for long. The logical assumption is that there is something in the grain. Yeah. Bones. I want the triples, the grain, everything analyzed. I want to know what killed these triples. I haven't figured out what keeps them alive yet. All right, if I find out anything, I'll let you know. That isn't going to do you any good, Kirk. This project is ruined, and Starfleet is going to hear about it. And when they do, they will have a board of inquiry, and they will roast you alive. Yes, and I am going to be there, Kirk, to enjoy every minute of it. Yes, until that board of inquiry, I'm still a captain. And as captain, I want two things done. First, find Cyrano Jones, and second... Close that door. 